I'm Kezrina James and I play Ariety Clock in The Borrowers. Um, Ariety is a really cool young girl. She's about 14. Um, it's kind of a coming of age story for her, I guess. Um, she's a little person who lives under the ground, under the floorboards in this Victorian house. And it's just basically, she wants to see the world. She knows there's more out there. I crawled down long, dark passageways that smelt of wood lice and spiders. I began to feel afraid, but then I felt something on my face like a breath. And I realised it was fresh air. She wants to see the world, she wants to meet people, she wants to meet other people like her. She wonders if there's other people like her, um, but she's, t she's been warned about these human beings, and the borrowers call them human beings, which is quite cute. And it's just about her discovery of meeting these human beings. I really like Ariete because she's, she's feisty, she's got some guts. She likes to get her hands dirty and she wants to follow in the footsteps of her dad and explore the world. Amy, the director's brilliant in kind of introducing you to the borrowers' kind of enclosed lives um, underneath floorboards. And we have clever ways of doing that, which I'm not going to give away. <laughs> but uh, you kind of get to see how they live underground with kind of no space and how they're used to having human beings on top. And that's just like a daily kind of lifestyle. And then we come out of that. And so we're outside and we're in this big, vast world. We are now kind of going through the play with a really fine tooth comb we're really looking at the details now and also the music because all the music is kind of made up as Dom the MD goes along as well so he's constantly in the room with the actor musicians and we're now beginning to tie in the music along with what we're doing um, so that's a really great process as well because I get to listen to this amazing music which is really inspiring actually and really kind of helps with the feel of creating the world that we're in.